Hello, air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Now, remember, there are three different astrology charts. There's tropical, Vedic, and draconic. So, this could be your sign. You could be an air sign in any one of those placements, depending on where you're at in life. But, just keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and jump into your fall protection reading. Get it set up and get going. I hope everyone's having an awesome, awesome Halloween fall season. It's one of my favorites. Ooh. Okay, move that one out. Got the hangman and the ten of imps. The four of imps. Death card. <clears throat> Seven of ghosts. And the nine of imps. A lot of fire. So what you need to be aware of, the heart of the issue, is the Ten of Imps, which in this deck, you know, same thing as the Ten of Wands. <clears throat> so there's definitely some, uh, some strain here. Um, someone's carrying a load on their back, a heavy load on their back, a heavy burden, <clears throat> um, getting to that point where you sink or you swim, you know, you burn or you fly. Um, but then you have the hangman and what to do to protect from this energy. I feel like someone needs to go, not in their head in a bad way, uh, but someone needs to really self-reflect and think. Think about a situation they're in. I keep seeing green. That makes me think something to do with money or some kind of abundance or prosperity that you want. Um, yes, get communication from those you trust. And put in great thought to something. But then down here in the uh, what's hidden that you don't see, we have the four of wands, which is the four of, you know, the four of imps. But uh, somebody's foundation is, it's like it, it's in danger. Because this is black cat. Black cats represent, black and white cats represent uh, protection from the spiritual realm. I feel like someone's trying to be protected here, but there's danger with those imps. Down here in the lesson from the situation, though, which would be your main fear, is the death card. And this means um, you're definitely going to be working on your protection because you got that little can watering your pumpkins. Pumpkins represent protection. I made pumpkin oil this year for protection. And then we got change. See the little monarch butterfly down here in the bottom? We got growth after change. Growth after... The death card is usually something... It reminds us of the Ouroboros, you know, the snake eating its own tail. There's always something ending and something new beginning. You know, life is a constant flow. And then we have the seven of ghosts. Someone is trying to make a decision because this is this is the advice. It goes along with this hangman. You need to go in deep thought to try to make the right decision here. Um, you know, our life is also defined by our decisions is it not that we learn as we get older you think back and think oh what the hell was i thinking <laughs> when i did that anyways moving on the outcome we have the nine of imps now the nine of imps in this one i see as because of this protection because we got the black cat and the pumpkin again and it looks like you've tamed someone's taming their demons because all the demons is like the little army of imps back here and he's tamed them and protected he or she you know energies both feminine and masculine but now we'll clarify a little bit for you okay let's clarify the ten of imps which is this burden strain that moon there there could be lies and someone is being fake because you'll see that one imp is falling down on its head there 
So let's get more clarity on that. Yes, someone's being a fool. Someone in your life, or it could very well be you. Depending on how it resonates. It's like there's such a fool that this clown is taking a leap of faith and leaving his backpack back there. <laughs> or his, his little bag. Like, he's not paying attention. And being the fool is awfully... Is usually an immature energy. It's someone who's wanting to grow. This immaturity. I feel like maybe some this burden on somebody is somebody growing up. And like I said, but it's someone in your life. Yes, for fast. Someone, ooh, baby spirit. Someone needs to go within and put deep thought into a situation. Rest mode. This is rest mode. So you can get all that communication from spirit, God of Earth, your inner self, you know, however you heal. But that's what um, swords would represent, which the bats are swords in this deck. Um, let's clarify more on what you should do on the hangman. Let's clarify more on the hangman. We need to do protect from that energy. Obviously, considering what's going on, the Wheel of Fortune popped out in reverse. Someone here has a hard time distancing themselves from someone who's getting karma. I've been in this situation myself. You cannot stop people from getting the karma they deserve. I know sometimes it may make you feel bad depending on if you still care about someone. <clears throat> whether it be family member, you know, friend, lover, whatever. But they have to face their karma because if they don't face their karma, they will keep doing the same shitty shit to people over and over and never learn. Right? Okay. Let's get one more on the karma and the hangman. The star, yes. See, you need to heal. Oh, the star card is about healing. It's about hopes, dreams, future. Again, with the black cat, black cat and protection. Like the, the full card has mountains. Mem mountains usually symbolize uh, journeys of some sort, whether it be spiritual or you know just a life journey. And this is a stone. You know, it's, this is a. That's another cat. Actually, I think. Yeah, somebody's looking back. There's healing going on. There is rebirth with the ivy growing in the background here. If you let karma, you just have to let things unfold. Let things unfold like the universe got a verse once. Okay, let's um, clarify the four of imps, which was uh, what's being, you know, hidden or your obstacle, which was someone trying to break your foundation. And I think that's, that is re implying, to go along with that karma card, if you don't let someone receive their karma, it will affect your foundation. But we will clarify anyways. Knight of Pumpkins. Yes, we have the Knight of Pumpkins. And it came out in reverse, which means, yes, we have a very immature individual here who is messing with your stability. Or it could be you messing with someone else's. You know you. And it's taken a long time to come out of it because, you know, pumpkins, the Knight of Pumpkins is a very slow-moving energy. The Pentacles are slow-moving energies. And it's like it's taken someone a while to get to these green pastures because in the background, it was dirt. Get one more on that. Three of Ghosts. Okay, I don't see a third party out of this card like most people do right now. But I see the Three of Ghosts. This means you will be celebrating a protected foundation. You know, however that foundation resonates with you. It could be your home life. It could be a relationship. It could be work. Whatever your foundation is, that's in your life. But it's like if you go in and untangle all your ghosts. Look here. All these ghosts are tangled up and I'm not. Get all your emotions in check. Untangle all your emotions. Go within and think. Use that brain, which is the only organ in the body that science cannot fully comprehend because it's so vast. Side note. But uh, go within and untangle those puzzle pieces. 
tame those demons like in this knight of wands but let's clarify more on um, the lesson in the situation which was the death card this is your key of life on john to the aunt there which is the egyptian cross which means key of life it is in the water yes because egyptians use water and vibration i use it in meditation too but they used it um for healing and um movement that's all i'll say on that but look i saw that onk and i was drawn to the key of life and the egyptians thought water was sacred especially the nile river because you know it fed them and kept the land fertile but this person is watering their pumpkins you have watered your protection watered yourself taking care of yourself going with them you know that's gives us more spiritual protection as well yes for ghosts so that you're not left and ghosted so you can be independent is what i'm getting from this card okay one more on that Seven of Bats, yes. Walking away from people who talk bad about you, talk about you behind your back, uh, give you bad advice, uh, be weary of people who are tricky, who are just out to get what they can from you. This is Seven of Bats. This is a sneaky, sneaky individual, and it's that fool, I would imagine, because no one else has showed up here. But let's clarify the additional advice, the solution, which was, uh, you know, making that choice. Strength, yes, making a choice to not be weakened, making a choice to not let your ego control you. Ego death, you need to control that ego to be able to flourish in life, um, to be able to just be happy, be more spiritual. It does a lot, but... Yes, the lovers reverse. So if you tame the beast, tame your ego, then you won't get any more risky commitments with people who steal your energy. Speaking of which, I forgot to bring up, this was my first lemon ever. If you want to check the energy in your home or your surroundings, you take a fresh lemon, this one was one fresh, and you set it in each room. And it, a lemon, if there's, if there's no negative energy, a lemon should turn nice, golden, hard, like this one is here. But if there's negative energy that needs to be cleared out, it'll start to get black spots, green spots, and so forth. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that. I forgot to do that because that's an easy tip. And sage, you know, depending on what kind of negative, negative energy it is, I would start out with sage or rosemary, something like that, cedar. But the outcome is the nine of imps. This was taming your, ooh, ooh. Like I said, Taming Your Beast. The cards are loving me today. Okay. Let's get a few on that. And then we'll... There's blockages. Yeah, so it's like you tamed your beast. There may be a kid here involved for some of you. That's throwing me a little bit off. But let's finish up here. Two more on that Knight of Imps. The Queen of Bats. Oh, another person didn't show up. Resist you taking, taming your demons. Yes, this would go along with you cutting off this negative energy, this person. Because the Queen of Bats is very powerful. She's very smart, headstrong, communicative. But she is a master at discernment and will cut off what is not healthy to her or her circle, right? Oh, and then we got the Queen of Wands. Ooh, okay. Two women here. Could be for some of you. This could be a relationship with two women. But for the majority of you, I think this is you cutting someone off and then taking up this Queen of Wands mode, which is the no bullshit queen. She will throw you under a bus if need be and in a justice type way, if that makes sense. All right. Okay, let's pull some oracles. And then we'll close this reading out. Keep an eye on this week. I have a lot of fall-themed readings coming out this week since Halloween's this week. And I do believe 
since Halloween is the energy of Halloween and it's not a Monday but it starts in the weekend, I will be going to a few more gra uh, graveyards and haunted places. I started my graveyard series last week if you haven't seen it, but let's see. Advice. Wise scene, wise action. Yes, go within. Um, I'm getting the moon here. And the new, There is a new moon tonight. Um, I'll be doing it tonight a, a spell candle reading. I have a spell candle that I do for everybody on my Buy Me A Copy link below. All my members get on um, the spell candle, but I will be putting a spell candle tonight. That reading on YouTube because me and the members talked about it. And since it's Halloween, there's our little treat to you. But Anyways, yes. Knowledge and the moon will definitely give you knowledge. However, the moon will make you work through your emotions to get that knowledge. You know, you can't, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, you know, shadow work, which I feel a lot of you are going through. Mischief, <laughs> mischief and play, trick or treat. Be weary of this mischievous fool, whoever that is in your life, that keeps wrecking havoc and trying to steal your energy. Skull of Darkness, blind spots on the hidden stuff. Be careful of the hidden blind spots, the things you're not seeing, like I said. Put those puzzle pieces back together, loves. All right. A couple more. Ooh, the graveyard. Unnecessary fear. Um... It's, it, this is telling me, you know, the, the death card and your lessons from the situation. You know, everything happens for a reason. There's a growth, rebirth, there's death, and recycles begin and rebirth. Um, this is unnecessary fear. If you just realize that and go with the flow, life flows a lot easier. Two more. Some additional advice we got. Infinite possibility. Skull of stars that popped out in reverse. And since it's on this, I mean, the lover's card in reverse, which was staying away from, you know, people stealing your energy and shady people, risky commitments. If you stay in a risky commitment with someone, you will not have infinite possibilities. Uh, the skull is blocking the moon. You won't have healing. You wouldn't have, you know, you're, you're rising like a phoenix, which is what you want to get to here. And then last but not least, <clears throat> sorry, guys. We got Night Song, Hidden Talents and the Outcome. Okay, some of you have psychic abilities. We have Night Song, which we have the Cardinal here. Cardinals are a symbol of healing, uh, rebirth, strong communicators, fire, along with all the fire signs. Some of you may be dealing with the fire sign, or you have fire. In one of your charts, I keep hearing Draconic. So, you know, Draconic is my favorite. That's what I usually vibe from, the Draconic Astrology Chart. That's your soul chart, your ascending chart. Some, some of you may need to look into that, look into your fire placements, look into your water placements. Especially your rising and your moon and your sun, okay? And then, um, you'll, you know, you go within, keep an eye out, because in November I'll be doing a, kind of like a hermit series, because it's best to do it in the winter for each sign, but that's beautiful. Okay, air signs. Um, if you would like more in-depth readings, um, you can find all that info at the at the buy me a coffee link below in the description box in the comments, or you can just buy me a coffee on there. You can join, you know, me and my other members uh, with more in-depth readings and all my extended, you know, as well as. Spell candle readings, which we'll be doing tonight, like I said. And on that note, have a blessed day. Bye, loves.